Thanks for tuning in to another installment of the Appalachian Update, your weekly rundown of what's going on around campus provided by our campus newspaper, The Appalachian. In sports, App State women's track and field finished third at the Sunbelt Track and Field Championships this week. Men finished sixth. App State sprinter William Buckley broke an indoor school record at the Sunbelt Championship, running a 21.39 second 200 meter to place third. The women's indoor distance medley relay team placed first to win gold with a time of 11.51. App State women's basketball lost on Thursday and hoped to bounce back on Saturday against Yule Monroe after losing two players to ejection. App State may possibly have only six active players tomorrow. The men will look to continue their home winning streak on Saturday at 3.30 p.m. and the women's will start at 1 p.m. for the doubleheader. The App State baseball team is currently 1-3 after the first tournament last weekend. They begin a three-game tournament in Boiling Springs, North Carolina today against Gardner-Webb. App State softball will begin a five-game tournament this weekend in Wilmington. They currently sit at 5-4 and four and look to continue their three-game win streak. In news, Trey Cotton and Kathy Aikens visited Appalachian State University last week to hold forums and presentations on why they should be selected as App's new Vice Chancellor for Student Development. Trey Cotton is currently the Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs at Winston-Salem University and Kathy Akins is currently the Associate Vice President for Student Affairs and Dean of Students at Florida International University. App State's budget for fiscal year 2018 is projected to have an increase in fees for both athletics and health services, continuing a six-year upward trend for athletics. If confirmed, the annual fees for athletics will be increased by $22 and the fees for health services will be increased by $31, according to the budget report. In arts and entertainment, Speakeasy will host a free tattoo day to benefit seven local charities on March 4th. There will be a minimum donation amount of $20 and each charity has its own theme tattoo flash sheet. The flash sheets can be found on their social media pages and the full selection will be visible on March 3rd during the first Friday of Art Crawl. Appalachian State celebrated Black History Month with events held throughout the month. On February 27th, Black Student Association will host an event in womanism in McCray Peak at 5 p.m. The month will close with the Black Excellence Award sponsored by Case, Black Student Association and the Office of Multicultural Student Development on February 28th at 7 p.m. in Blue Ridge Ballroom. Bala Cruces Restaurant Over Yonder is currently hosting a Rising Chefs of Appalachia pop-up series where they invite chefs to take over their restaurant for the night and plan their own menu. The next event will be on March 1st and will have a Thai food theme. Appalachia State alumna Mary Pruitt purchased Foggy Pines books on King Street eight months ago. Along with current bestsellers, Pruitt also carries books by local authors and independent publishers. Foggy Pine hosts a book club in the store on the last Saturday of every month at 7.30 p.m. Thanks for tuning in to the Appalachian Update. For more campus news, pick up our newspapers on Thursdays or visit our website at theappalachianonline.com. We'll see you next week.